Okay, so I guess really what Aaron's question is about is adding another trailing rule that will flatten the trade after 20 bars if there's any amount of profit. All right, let's add that one. All right. Gotta get my fingers on the right keys. There we go. Okay. So this time we're, we're, we need to um, combine a couple of triggers here. All right, let's open this up a little bit more. So let's go to the advanced tab now. Let's set the mode to all simultaneously. There we go. And so let's, we're gonna add the interval and it doesn't matter what order you do things in because simultaneous is simultaneous regardless of the order, right? So for bars, let's put in 20, right? There, and now let's add the profit or loss uh, trigger. So for the mode, we're looking for profit now. Um, and if you want any amount, then let's probably just put it to ticks and then just say one tick of profit, right? So if there's at least one tick of profit um, after 20 bars, then we'll flatten that trade. Let's see, am I in the right one? Yes. Okay. Change the type to flatten the position again. And there we have it. So obviously you can only flatten once. So the repeat, you know, does not need to change. So just leave the repeat to none. You know, obviously you can't flatten indefinitely. So, um, yeah. All right. So with the number of bars, you know, and then flatten after so much profit, right? Obviously, you know, you can vary that, you know, so you could say something like, all right, let's, Make sure there's five ticks of profit, you know, that to account for a little bit of slippage, you know, uh, or, you know, whatever you decide there. So you can adjust that minimum profit amount there. Mm -hmm.